We're just trying to change the world here, people. Oh, really? Okay, welcome back to O'Reilly Radio, episode 131F. This is our personal picks section where we just kind of talk about whatever we want. Uh, so there's there's no rational conversation anymore here. But we do have our usual suspects, David O'Connor, Stephen Griffith, and Amber Besecker. Welcome back. So, um, I, I really don't have any picks. I've, I've just been exhausted this week uh, with, com I, I suppose, vote now. Vote, vote, <laughs> vote. Uh, go vote. Because that's coming up, and uh, you should do that. Uh, just because of that, I'm going to release all of these shows as quickly as possible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's 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 really all I have. Uh, oh, Stephen, you've got uh, yes, bears versus babies. <laughs> oh, oh the, made the oatmeal, good. exploding kittens. Yes, 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 yes. Comes their newest card game, bears versus babies, where. It is a deck building game between you and friends where you must build your bear to fight the baby menace. <laughs> and it's an idea of when one person attacks, all the babies attack everybody. And if you don't have a powerful enough bear, you get screwed. Wow, but if you're powerful okay. enough, but other people aren't, they, you, they take them out. Uh -huh. It is literally... Imagine Build-A-Bear Workshop from hell. <laughs> um, that's the best way to describe how you make your bear. Like, I have a bare head with a human torso, and one arm is a chainsaw. The other arm is three machine guns and a couple of pump shotguns. And then it's got, you know, cyborg legs, and that's my bear. Okay. Um, then you have, like, all the... It's the wonderful artwork of the of the oatmeal. Yeah. Which is always hilarious and interesting. Um, it just looks like a fun, you know somewhat competitive game with your friends just to go out have fun and just laugh horrifically at the horror that games like this can can come up with um i have kickstarted this i am looking forward forward to it coming out um i really loved exploding kittens in fact i got their expansion imploding kittens which i have not <laughs> played yet um and I've kickstarted this one where I get both just the re I get the regular deck plus the not safe for work deck, which is I agree not Ooh. kid friendly. No, um, <laughs> not Prob even close. Probably, probably not. Yeah, but I I love I love my exploding kittens game. We play it every now and again. People are amused as hell by it, and I saw this and like you know what? Screw it. They put out a good product last time. I'll go ahead and throw this one out there too. Spent my thirty-five dollars, so I highly recommend it. I enjoy their products. I enjoy their comics, which are off the wall and completely nuts sometimes. But yeah, Bears versus Babies. It's on Kickstarter right now. I've got twelve days left to go as of now, which is November fourth. They are currently their pledge goal was only was only ten thousand dollars. They're currently up to two point two million. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. With fifty nine thousand and sixty two backers. Oh, 63. It went up by one. <laughs> wow, wow. This is... Um, that is my pick for this week, is this hilariously awful game. Which I'm sure will be amazing at parties. You know, what kind of life must you have where <laughs> this is the kind of thing <laughs> that you do? I mean, it's, I'm, I'm all for super creativity. Uh, it's just, it's amazing that there are people in the world that do this for a living. Mm -hmm. Really gives me pause. <laughs> and hey, more importantly, they can make enough money at it to have, to that be their job. Mm -hmm. Multiple extensions. Mul multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, wow. Welcome so. Welcome to the jungle. Bears versus babies. Card game from creators of Exploding Kittens and the Oatmeal. Um, I have I have Exploding Kittens. I like Exploding Kittens. It's, it's a fun game. Uh, it I don't think it really has as much replay value. It just needs more expansions. You know, it kind of like cards, like cards Against Humanity. Well, everything seems to be uh, you know delightfully lubricated by the toxins. So mm. yeah. Well, chemtrails. Uh, 
Chemtrails, yeah! Mm. Lightfully mm. lubricated by the chemtrails. Mm. Chemtrails and tinfoil cups. Yum, 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 mm -hmm. yum, yum. So delicious. <laughs> and nutritious. It's like napalm. <laughs> Sticks to kids. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, so I know what my next week's pick is going to be. Thank you very much. Napalm? <laughs> What we'll find I... out next week. Oh dear! It's like, what have I done now? I guess we'll have to tune in next week. David, do you have any picks? I I do not. I was looking, but I I'm too busy this week to find a pick. Okay, Amber, do you have anything? Um, I mean, I it's not anything necessarily new, but there's another game that I uh, I've been playing that's okay. a hell of a lot of fun. Um, it's available on Steam. It's called Darkest Dungeon. Yes. Dungeon. Um, yeah, it... and you know the premise is just that uh, you've got a bunch of heroes that you're sending into these uh, increasingly difficult dungeons, and it's a lot of like uh, gear management um, where you've got to make sure you've got enough torches to light your way because the darker it gets, the more sanity you lose. It, it has as... that Lovecraftian. Thing to yeah, it. yeah, exactly. And as you lose sanity, um, you start uh, experiencing things like, um, you know, if it gets high enough, you've got somebody who's just gibbering nonsense, and that's affecting your other party members and making them lose more sanity. Um, you've got to make sure you've got enough food, that you're carrying enough bandages with you to stop your people from bleeding. Um, and it's 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 punishing, but it is it's very fun. I've been having uh, a hell of a time with it. Um, it's it's addictive almost. And uh, it, there's a new expansion coming out for it in um, I think early 2017 is what they're talking about. Uh, and it's the first expansion ever for it, and it's called the Crimson Court. Hmm. So interesting. So that is my. So what, what we're seeing here, because uh, uh -huh. obviously, everyone, you ought to be watching the show on YouTube to get the video and all of our expressions and, you know, my reactions to some of the things Amber says. You know, you definitely <laughs> need to be watching uh, on the YouTube. So you should definitely go out there and do that. But uh, so w what we were seeing there was was that actual like the way it was gameplay. So it's it's turn based. So you figure out what yes. you're going to do and then and then it animates what's what's going yes. to occur. OK. Yep. Absolutely. <clears throat> Neat. So that's out on Steam. Uh, it's been out uh, almost a year now. So it came out mm -hmm. in January. Uh, 25 bucks basically on Steam. And oh, there's soundtrack too. And the music is actually pretty good. I've, I've enjoyed the soundtrack quite a bit. Very so, dark. So as you, could one get, would uh, you could get the game and the soundtrack for 30 bucks, or you can get the soundtrack for 10 and new DLC coming to Crimson Court in 2017, as you said. Neat. Okay. So that's that's available out on Steam. So go get it. Fun stuff. We like fun stuff around here. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, you know, I I think um, I think that really uh, I think that's gonna do it. I don't have anything else. Go out and vote, people. Future of the country's at stake. No pressure. No pressure. Don't let the apocalypse leave you behind. <laughs> <laughs> ah, broken. Oh, you broke me. You broke me just then. Okay, that's it for tonight. We'll be back live next Friday about 9.30 p.m. Eastern. In the meantime, the conversations continue on the web. Head over to oreallyradio.com. That's O-R-L-Y-R-A-D-I-O.com for all the links at the top of the page so you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, subscribe to the YouTube and the Twitch channels, and of course you can watch us live and join in all the fun in the chat directly from our web page. And if you stayed with us all the way through the credits, how about you give us a hand? If you have a few dollars to spare, you can contribute to the Patreon to get early access or access at all to the show. <laughs> I, I screwed up, I'm sorry, what can I say? <laughs> um, and maybe even some special perks like getting the show. Just, you know, follow the Patreon link on the webpage or go over to patreon.com. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com O'Reilly Radio. You can also make a one-time donation via the donate button. That would also help. But, you know, if you're uh, if you're out of your rainy day funds, how about you do us a solid and share the show. Get in front of other people. Uh, you know, leave us a positive review wherever you found us. And, um, 
you know, even if that's too much, you know, you've got ideas in your brain pan. So we're always looking for those new ideas for the show. So how about you share those with whatever's on your mind? Shoot us a note to oh really radio podcast at gmail.com. Or uh, if you're the more talkative sort, we've got a phone number 470-222-ORLY-6759. That's always ready to take your call or your text. Standard messaging rate supply. Can't thank you enough for spending some time with us. This has been um, Oh Really Radio, part of the Cowan Services Network. Until next time, I've been Andy Cowan. Go ahead and, you know, say goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Can't take you guys anywhere. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Toodles. Ciao.